Good morning and welcome all to this session where we're going to talk about the course A-Level Biology. I'm going to talk you through what we are doing and uh, a little bit what it can lead to. Hmm. Now I can't move down here. Oh yeah, here we are. So, uh, yeah. We are gonna do the Pearson at Excel uh, Biology A, that is Saltus Nuffield, is what the specific course we do, the curriculum we follow is called. And it ends up with three uh, different examination papers, and also you're gonna do through the course up to 18 different practicals, where you're also gonna be, um, assessed on whatever skills you learn during the course. So this is one of them. This is one of a field investigation where we study habitats. It's something similar in GCC, I know that, but uh, this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, so what is the course entry criteria? Uh, what you need to get into this course is the minimum of a grade six in GCC biology or a grade double six in GCC science. Also, we require a GCC grade of six in mathematics. And that is because up to 10 percentage of the marks in the biology exam is actually mathematical skills but it's on the same level as the, the highest level GCSE math tasks. So that's very good to be prepared on that as well. Up, um, yeah, no, mm, there we are. Um, so what else do I need to know? Well, what I just said is that it's very good to know that, so that's not a surprise for you, that you're gonna be doing quite a lot of maths even though it's biology. Um, and you have to be prepared that it is quite a lot of maths on the assessments and on the exams as well. But we have a very good uh, tool for that and you can actually download this already if you want to and that's the student math guides that you can find if you google uh, Pearson student math guide. Um, that's very a very good tool for you. The thing is, my computer doesn't really want to use the normal buttons for changing slides, which is, uh, yeah. yeah. So, what we will study more in detail and in uh, the two different years is said on this slide here. So, the first year we will cover the following four topics. We begin with life style, health and risk, and genes and health. And then we go on with voice of the genome, which actually is quite close to what we do in genes and health. So that's of course, uh, genetics. And in the end of the first year, we work uh, hard on biodiversity and natural resources. Uh, which many think is a little bit more easy maybe because it's more something that we can see. Uh, the second year starts with on the wild side, which also is about biodiversity and climate change and that sort of thing. It also includes photosynthesis. So the first topic, year two, is quite similar to what we end up with year one, actually. It's sort of a continuation. And then we go to Im into immunity infections and shortly but still forensics which is very interesting uh, and we go on with run for your life which is about muscles and um, also it includes a quite tricky thing but very interesting which is cellular respiration and finally we stop with the gray matter which is about nerve impulses and the uh, brain and um, yeah, all that is, uh, yeah, the eye is quite thoroughly gone through as well. So that's the eight different topics with four in each year that we will cover um, during the study in biology. 
as I said, we're going to do quite many practicals. We have a well-equipped uh, laboratory where we work, and um, that's very nice sessions, really. Okay, so what can I do after I've studied biology A level? <clears throat> uh, it's very many, it's a very wide scientific field, this, and you can study several different other courses at university after the studies. Uh, I've um, listed some of them here, biochemistry, evolution and biodiversity, marine and terrestrial ecology, plant science, human physiology, habitat ecology, environmental issues, uh, molecular method methodology for biologists, cell structure and function, and principles of genetics. Of course, you could also sort of come into a career as a doctor and, um, you know, maybe you're the one that's going to investigate a new virus, virus coming in in 10 years. We don't know yet, that yet. All right, so are there any additional costs to do this course? To support your learning, uh, you will need a copy of A-level biology textbooks. It's uh, those two that are here. It's the year one and year two textbook. But you don't really need to buy them. There are online uh, versions on them and um, that you probably can get a code for. Um, but one thing to actually, which is really good to have is the A-level biology complete revision and practice book. This green one here to the right. Uh, you will also need a scientific calculator. So that is an investment you need to do, uh, which is very useful for you. Um, yeah. So uh, now we have a live question and answer session. So I'm going to close this down now and I see you. And if you have any questions now, you can uh, just write them down in a little chat box we have here. So here, if there's something you wonder about this course, um, uh, yeah, uh, Tyson here asks that, are we assessed on any practical lessons? Yeah, you are. It's something that is called CPAC, which is uh, every practical we have is some different skills in a family of five different types of skills that you're going to be assessed on. So that's going to be a system with uh, red, amber and green. But that's not a very tricky thing really. That's things you always can uh, discuss with your teacher and that you are going to be aware of before you start a practical. So you can always be prepared for that and you can require what is going to, what's asked for, for to pass this. We have not really done so far any big uh, issue of this. We have just done the practicals and normally the first year you won't get uh, uh, green. Uh, normally you just sort of stand on amber up to the second year. So yeah. And now we have a new question here. What is your favorite part of the course that we study? Well, <laughs> uh, I'm a, initially a green biologist, so I like uh, topic four and five, which is quite a ma much about environment. At the same time, I'm also really interested in genetics and that bit. And I am um, also starting to, to like getting really deep into the human body. Uh, Amelia, how many days a week will we spend doing this A-level? Well, it might be a bit of change in how we do the sessions from um, autumn, but so far we've had three lessons a week. So three, one and a half lessons a week in biology. But that, as I said, might uh, change. But count on for four and a half hour in class and then probably you also, you're going to be expected to do same amount of hours as self-study. And that's actually required to make a good result and to get access to all these opportunities and university afterwards. Uh, which is the hardest? Well, it depends actually if you like chemistry or not, I would say, because, you know, biology, all living life is 
all life is of course living, but all life is actually quite a lot of chemistry. It's chemistry based if you look in, in a molecular level. And um, there are some bits and pieces where we talk about some quite hard chemical reactions as uh, cellular uh, respiration and also um, photosynthesis where it is very close to chemistry, I would say. It's kind of quite pure chemistry. So if you like that and sort of also have a bit of skill for details, it's very good. Uh, it might be hard for some. Some also find it hard with uh, actually environmental things and, and uh, plants and, and, you know, biodiversity because it's more maybe diffuse. In a way, I like chemistry because it's very exact. You know what's going to happen more, most likely, and I like that. Are there any other questions? I'm going to tell you one thing though. You can think if you've got any other questions. I'm actually going to move myself back to Sweden, which is my home country now during summer. So there's going to be another teacher teaching you that will start biology this uh, autumn. So you are prepared not to be able to see me. Um, but that's going to be another teacher, very experienced. So you're going to do all right. And that's going to be perfectly fine. I just want to tell you that. Hmm. Yeah, have we got anything? Maybe you can tell me a little bit about your expectations or your wishes, what you want to learn or what plans you've got. If you're still here. What I've seen so far is that the groups that I've taught uh, are relatively small, less than 20 people in the group, maybe 15, 10, 15. And it's been a very nice atmosphere in the biology courses, lovely students. And we have had very uh, lovely sessions where everyone has been really interested. And uh, actually the topic, you know, about life, because bio, biology, uh, biology it's, it's called, the, it's mean, it means actually the word means the knowledge about life. And it's something that is very close to us, I would say, and very interested, interesting for everyone of us. Uh, maybe especially when we dig a little bit deeper. 